There's a real aura about this place, and uh, everyone says that, but it's absolutely true. Let's go out and play our hearts out. Ready? Let's go. Cats on three. One, two, three. Cats! We kind of walked out of the dugout, and we were like, wow. To me, Fenway is uh, it's the holy grail. There's just so much history here. You, you don't have to live in New England to, to appreciate it. It's a once-in-a-lifetime event, literally. I, I'm not sure that they're ever going to come back and, and spend a million dollars setting a rink up in uh, Fenway, but for UNH, it's a fabulous opportunity. UNH! 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 Yeah! Now on the other side, score! Well, we talked about a defensive battle. Forget about it. It's 2-1 to one now with three goals in the first four minutes of play. I've never played in an actual outdoor game. I mean, growing up, I always played pond hockey. Being from Canada, we always had those outdoor rinks around our houses, but um, never in anything league game or anything this caliber. Quick passing here on the right side. Score! New Hampshire has tied it up here at Fenway Park. I grew up uh, a few minutes from here in South Boston, so I know coming in here, everyone was pumped, and to be able to score and, you know, make out a point for your team is just great. We're def definitely appreciative of the amount of people that came out to watch us and hopefully uh, this puts in a word for women's hockey and how much we've grown. This is so awesome. Uh, it's a little chilly. Last time I was here I was worried about getting sunburn. <laughs> now I'm worried about getting frostbite. But it's really fantastic. We're thrilled to be here. Go blue! Go Good game, glad they uh, kind of woke up and came back. Uh, should be an exciting last couple minutes. Lavoie gives UNH its first lead of the game. When we were sitting around the table at Hockey East discussing who the uh, potential opponents would be, UNH women's program was, was the number one choice because it's one of those legacy programs, as is Northeastern, by the way. I mean, they are two iconic programs in the sport of women's hockey, but you know what Brian has done here recently with our long run of the successful seasons, uh, it was a natural. That's one of my highlights in 30 years of coaching, being on that bench today. It's just an honor to be asked to play in it and to come out with a win is just, I'm just speechless. It's just an unbelievable feeling. And to have on your resume that you played in the first outdoor women's game is nice but to be able to say you won it with four goals in the third is pretty special. You guys are awesome!